You know what they call the expression, right? Why? Because <laughs> they express you through the course before you even get a chance to break their equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if they let you have the equipment to begin with. Yeah. Exactly. Yo, oh, we got all these great lenses for you. You just can't get them until your final class. Wrong, because what they need to do in the very first classes is teach you the re to respect equipment. Like, that should be the number one thing on the list. If they're worried about people breaking things and not returning them, that should be the first class you have. Say, I want you to learn how to respect the equipment. This is how everything operates. Just bring in examples of all, all the different things that are in the equipment room. Say, this is how you handle it. This is how you set it up. This is how you put it away. And this is how they want it. And once they tell you that, then you'll always, always remember that because you're constantly going to be taking it out for projects and things like that. But because they make you wait to take out all this equipment, you don't learn how to use it until you finally take that one class you're required to take. I just, I really wish they would just give us like a list of things that like, in, in just like an email or something. I mean, that's one of the things that I've had trouble with is just getting the emails about whatever the hell is happening. Right. Um, I mean, I hear about these meetings where people have talked about like, oh yeah, we're getting this and this and this. I was like, where, where's my invite to that meeting, you know? Well, half of the time after I switched to the program yeah. coming out of sound, I was still getting email from the sound department. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had other buddies, oh yeah, did you get this about uh, this has been coming out. No, I, feel, I didn't. No. I feel like they need to hire someone specifically to design to contact the students for that stuff. You know, it needs right. to be interlinked. Like all the departments should be working with each other to make projects. Like we should be working with the sound people. We should be working with the the animation students. We should be working with all the graphic design people. I mean, we all have a chance to 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 help each other. You know, we, we could help make people's film reels, you know, we, we have editing experience where they don't, you know, they, they only know how to, how to make 3D models and stuff. Right. And, you know, that, that, that's potential work and you, you, you never know, like, after you leave the school, you may end up, you know, working for them separately. But it seems like the way that the school is going about it is very passive. And they're just saying like, oh, if you, well, if you want to do that, you're welcome to do it on your own. But we're not going to like, you know, do it. We're not going to help you do that, you know. Yeah, we're not going to generate a... <laughs> A course catalog for you how to do it. Yeah. I understand, but they kind of did touch on that when we were in, what was it, MSV? Yeah. No, LMW for, no, oh, MSV for MSV, our movies. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, yeah, um, send your idea for your movie cover, your... And we're gonna have somebody in his department. You're yeah. never gonna meet them. That was a, that was the thing. I was like, oh yeah, they'll they'll collaborate. Yeah, they'll, you know, <laughs> was like, over email. Like we, we met them, we met them once after a lecture, and then we talked. They said, okay, this is what our movie is. And I'm like, okay, we'll have a poster done for you and whatever. We didn't even never get to even meet see them, them again. You know, you we never, never met our guy. Oh, well, he yeah. emailed, and then on top of that, when the poster finally came out, yeah, it ours was a comedy. It was a horror based poster. And then on top of that, he what? spelled two names wrong. <laughs> so instead of my name being B A R R, it was B R A R, Brarar. I don't even know how. What is that, German? It's got to be because those guys, they totally missed the mark on it, dude. <clears throat> Sorry, that looks so wrong right there. I don't know what the hell that was. I don't know. It's the media. Uh, and this is what yeah. we're going to school for, to fix problems like that. <laughs> what? I don't think that was a filming issue. <laughs> you know? Uh, ridiculous. Absolutely but, ridiculous. Um, yeah. So, as students, how can we actually make this better for those who are coming up? Because there's really no place to suggest anything, because it seems you can send it up the chain of command a little yeah. bit, but then it stops. You don't see it going any further after that. You don't hear any feedback from those that you know you're supposed to yeah. uh, those who are supposed to have our best interests at heart mm -hmm. it, there's no trickle down theory it, it just goes up the, into the ladder and disappears into the cloud somewhere and then you're just supposed to fish your way through and find answers yourself i don't think that's fair there's not enough i think they need a, they need a meeting like once a month just have just say like all all digital film students or you know all sound students all, everybody you know just meet once a month with your department heads and just talk. Just right. talk about whatever is going on in the, in the department, what equipment's gonna come up, uh, what changes need to be made, any suggestions that people have. I mean, it's, such a, it's a much more personal way to deal with the whole situation. It's fives for everything because they don't care about it. You know, <laughs> you know f filling out these... Uh, the eval evals. The, the, the evals are just not, 
I mean, the teachers don't really seem to take them seriously, and so I, why, you know, why does anyone, any of us care, you know? <laughs> doesn't, doesn't really, uh... I know, I start doing the random system on some of them. Five, four, five, three, yeah. eh, two, just to make it realistic. Like, do, nobody's even reading the things, and it's just like, I don't Who feel, is? it's because you don't, you feel like it's not going to go anywhere, nobody's going to read it, you know? And they say they're going to read it and all that kind of thing, but... That's true. I don't know. Yeah. Well, one thing I can say about the school, yeah. I've learned a lot of programs in a short amount of time, and that's actually uh, given me a bit more confidence when working in digital realm. Mm -hmm. But one thing I'm, I wish that they incorporate, incorporated, being that it is a film program, mm -hmm. is how to cut film, how to work uh, on well, film. Well, but then okay. That or at least a at least a, a, a <clears throat> course, a, a class. Maybe you're not physically cutting film, but at least teach you like about talk the history. About, talk exactly. about, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Looks awesome. like, but you have to really, you know, you, you do have to learn a lot of stuff to actually make any money at it, or do you know, make a living out of it. Or you get lucky somehow. And you have to, you have to like it too. It's like a lot of people show up to class, they look bored as hell, and I'm like, why are you even here? Like, I don't understand why. It's like, why do you show up to school <laughs> for something you don't want to do? It's like I obvious. I spent the night at school so many times, especially yeah, in L and W. To stay there, you know? Man, I was like, what? If you're not doing anything, why not be oh. here? Look at all of these computers that have nobody sitting behind them doing extra yeah. work. I would. I even went to school just to watch Netflix and yeah. hang around and stuff. Maybe I'll run into somebody and fall into a project, you know right. what I mean? <laughs> and I have, I, I love the fact that there are a lot of people out there who are really into it, but again, the politics takes them out. They're like, you know what, I can't deal with this right now, I'm gonna take a term off, and then you never see them again. Mm -hmm. And that, that's kind of a bummer because it does discourage a lot but, of students. But you know, it's better that they learn it now than have them graduate and think they're like the best filmmakers ever and then they get turned down and they don't understand why. It's like, I, I, I've always thought that being kind of blunt about it early on is pretty important. Because if you're not willing to sit through the boring crap, it, that's, you just have to, everyone has to deal with that. And mm -hmm. if you want to be in the industry, you have to deal with that. Right. Um, I just, I don't think there's any other way. Yeah. But already, you know what? Before the program, I, w I was doing my own thing, going into music more often, and now, after going through, you know, it's only been a year. Mm -hmm. I've already had outside PA work on uh, yep. production. I'm getting more jobs left, right, and I'm even taking jobs that I know I'm not even qualified <laughs> for. But I'm like, I learned the program. It's similar. No. Yeah, I could swing it. I could swing it. And, and another good thing that they told us, you know, yeah. If someone asks you if you can do it, you say, say yes. You say yes and you learn it later. That's and, what <laughs> and learn on the way as you go. And um, that's what I've been doing lately with these outside projects. And I'm really excited because it's raised my pay grade already. I would go before $15, $20 an hour. And now I'm like, yeah, you know, 30 bucks, 35 an hour sounds about right. You know, And they can respect that because I do have the knowledge to back it up. And I can crank out content material that looks good yeah. to them, you know, or sounds well, awesome. That's a, I mean, that's the thing is like, if you want a job after after school, you got to start working in it while you're in school. Yeah. Because if you're willing to work for peanuts while you're in school, then you don't have to do it when you graduate. Because exactly. you've already say I, I've already got two years of experience, but I, I you know I didn't get paid paid anything really. I got paid peanuts. But, <laughs> but Some I, I but I have experience now, and I can actually now I can you know actually ask people for for you know a proper wage when I actually get a job. Yeah. And that's the thing, like, I was working in this before, you know, just after high school and before I came to this school, and I just, I didn't really stop. It's just, the problem is I never got the background knowledge to all this stuff. Like, I knew how a camera, how a camera worked, I knew how to set up a shot, I knew how to set up lights, but I didn't have any kind of context for it. I didn't know the background, the, the kind of history behind, uh, you know, the first camera and all that stuff. Exactly. And so, you know, having these classes to kind of fill in those gaps in knowledge, that's what I came here for. Because I want I want all that kind of full, rich background before I kind of take that next leap forward. Yeah. So I'm hoping that, you know, that's what it's going to end up. And it seems that's that's the direction it's taking me. So. Yeah, you said it that way. I'm liking it. <laughs>